So Jermal Chalo just KO'd Higo Centennial in the second round. And I'm just going to be taking a look at the KO setup and combination. And I'm also going to be breaking down how you could implement these techniques in the ring. So we see Jermal Charlo chase down a retreating Centennial. Once Centennial finds his back along the ropes, he decides to retaliate with this rear uppercut. The problem you see here is that there is absolutely no setup to this uppercut at all. No jab, no feint, no positional adjustment was made to set this uppercut up. So anybody in this position, or should I say Charlo's position, would see this uppercut coming. The fact that Centennial winds up dropping his hands makes this punch more obvious. As a matter of fact, he actually drops both of his hands, which should be a criminal offense. And there you see the counter right hand from Charlo punishing this mistake. And then he follows up with a left hook, but it misses. Now, one of the golden rules of, of boxing, or at least when forming strategies in boxing, is to seek positional advantages over your opponent to set up your punches. And when your opponent makes a positional adjustment, you should be punching them. Offense and defense in boxing starts at the feet, and everything that happens in the ring is a result of what happened before it. With this in mind, you must use your footwork to move into positions where you can hit your opponent, but they cannot hit you without making a an adjustment in their position relative to you. What Jamal Charlo is about to perform is known as an inside pivot. The inside pivot is an effective technique used at close range and you will most often see it used to this effect in same stance matchups. So in this current position you see that neither guy has a positional advantage over the other. Watch Jamal Charlo's footwork very closely. Jamal Charlo pivots on his lead leg and swings his rear leg over until he is at an angle that places himself outside of Centennial's lead shoulder. Charlo is now in a position where he can hit Centennial, but Centennial cannot hit him unless he makes a positional adjustment. And you see Centennial make a rookie mistake by turning on the spot to face Charlo and walks right into that big right hand. Never turn on the spot. Centennial should have realized that he was at a positional disadvantage and either stepped out to his right to create distance or step into Charlo to smother him and close the distance. Instead, he commits a mortal sin in boxing and turns right on the spot. This was the beginning of the end. And then you see Centennial walk directly right into Charlo's right hand as if he's giving Charlo an early Christmas present and then Charlo is able to finish him and leaves the scene of the crime. And here's an example of Floyd Mayweather doing the inside pivot to Arturo Gatti. Notice how off of that right hand he pivots on his lead foot in order to get outside of Arturo Gatti's field of vision. See that? And then so he lands his right hand to the body and the right hand up to the head. Brilliant combination. Here once again against Shane Mosley, you see Mayweather throw the right hand and then off of that he pivots and then throws another right hand but this time it misses. You see, you get the point. And here we're going to see Deontay Wilder perform an inside pivot. So watch Deontay Wilder throw this right hand and then control Duhapas with his left forearm. Now watch here, he pivots is about to pivot right here see and then he throws that left hook to the body and then the right uppercut while Duhapas has nobody in front of him there you see Wilder pivot once again to set up the left hook to the body and the right hand and then an uppercut and then he watch Wilder pivots yet again right right after this uppercut so he's gonna control Duhapas with his left hand and here he pivots to get almost behind Duhapas and once again with the same combination left hook to the body right uppercut to the head so right there he does another pivot to get behind Duhapas again so right there he did four pivots in a row beautiful boxing from De Deontay Wilder and here we're going to see Chuck Latio Gonzalez do the pivot there to set up the left hook to the body and then here against Brian Valoria we see Roman Chocolatillo Gonzalez once again pivot on his right foot to set up that left 
And just some closing thoughts before I end the video. I just want to say it's always wise to utilize some kind of control over your opponent before you perform the inside pivot since it takes a long time to execute this technique. Holding your opponent with your lead hand or forearm is most ideal since the inside pivot is most effective at close range. We often see Mayweather do this. And always be aware and recognize if your opponent performs this technique on you. Never turn on the spot and face them if this happens.